In this video, I'm going to show you the importance of lighting. You don't have to have super expensive lights or a lot of them, but some lighting can do a lot for your stream. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Swing smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is underneath in the description. So I can tell you a lot about why light is important, but mostly it's just because it makes your stream look a lot better. And because there's this thing, show don't tell, let me just turn off my lights for a second. So this is my front light and uh, my side light. Let me, let me turn them off. So this is what it looks like if I don't have my lighting on. You can see that it's pretty terrible, right? Let me... Uh, I hate this. This is with just one side light and this is with my main light. Especially the main light, if I turn off the side light, especially the main light does a lot for my face. And you can see my expressions a lot better and it just makes it so much clearer. I'm not using a webcam at the moment, but my M50, my Canon M50, which I absolutely love. And uh, I'm probably also gonna make a video about that in the future because this is, this is an amazing camera, I love it. And I use it for my stream as well. But the same goes for any webcam. If you have a good camera like this one and you don't have good lighting, it looks pretty bad like you just saw. But if you have a, have a webcam, it, it has the same effect. So we've got the um, C920 there, hello guys. Um, if I turn off these lights now, it's pretty okay -ish. But um, I do have a light right right there, right behind the camera. Let me, uh, let me turn that off. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty bad. Especially if we would turn these lamps up off as well, but I won't do that for you guys. I won't do that, but like, hello guys, you guys see me? Not really, right? It's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Um, same goes for this camera, guys. It does not look any better like this. It's pretty bad. <gasps> but um, yeah, this webcam looks a lot better like this than it does like um, this, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So that's why I have a light right there. It's just for the webcam when I'm using the webcam. Also, don't, don't mind my mess. I got a lot of mess here. Don't mind it. Don't mind my mess, please. So yeah, I love to turn on these lights in the front. Well, my, my eyes have to get used to it again. So what you can do is you can have just your your phone. You can use your phone light. <laughs> I've seen people use the flashlight for the stream and it looks like 10 times better just because the air is light. I do not recommend using the flashlight. It is, I mean, if you don't have anything else, it's better than nothing, but I recommend getting something good. So there's a couple ways you can go. I would recommend getting at least one light right in front of you where the camera is. This way you don't have shadows on your eyes and people can like actually see your eyes very well. You can also do a two light system like I have here. One kind of in the front, kind of at the side. You can also have two at the front. Also possible, there, there are different ways of lighting. There's no right or wrong, but um, at least get one that is in front of you. <laughs> Definitely recommend that. And then there's like categories that you can go for. You can get a super cheap clam light, get a bulb in, make sure that they're not too bright, not too blue and not too yellow. <laughs> so get the right lamp, get in and get some parchment paper over it and you'll get a super cheap light. Then there's a second option and that's a soft box. Getting a soft box is super big and huge, but they will have very good diffused lighting on your face. This makes it possible to not have a lot of harsh shadows and therefore it just looks a lot better. The third option would be an LED panel. You can do just an LED panel or you can do one with a softbox on it. Softboxes are just great, so I recommend one with a softbox, but you can also do it without. If you turn them up a lot, uh, you gotta get those harsh shadows. So if you have some kind of like diffusion on it, that would be amazing. And then there's the fourth option, which is getting a key light. I have two key lights here and that one down there at the back. That's uh, the key light air for me. I do love using them. This is kind of what you get from it. You, well, you just judge yourself. I love it. They are rather expensive though. So these key lights are like 200 bucks. Key light air, I thought it was like 150. I don't know it out of my head, but I'll leave some links down below in the description for you guys if you love these as well. I absolutely love them, but they're expensive. So I do not recommend if you just start out and you don't know if you like streaming to get these immediately. But if you've been streaming for a while and you want an upgrade, definitely go for these. Then besides from just having something on your face, I also recommend lighting up the background with something. So for me, this light here is also kind of lighting up the background. Like you see, uh, it makes it look a little bit more happy. <laughs> I don't know, otherwise it's so gray in my room. Same with this light. I have a super yellow, 
because it, it will just give some, I don't know, nice feeling, not like this uh, dark horror kind of feeling. <laughs> it will look pretty bad without it, look. It just looks so sad. And this looks happy. So this is why I have this one. And then we have this color light here, which is just a Philips Hue light. I'll leave them underneath in the description. This is a Philips Hue bulb in just an Ikea uh, lampstand. Just a cheap lampstand. It's fine, it looks good. And uh, yeah, the Philips Hue strip. You can put them in all kinds of colors and they're pretty good. But you don't have like, again, I have the premium strip again which is, I don't know how much, but for the strip you also need a bridge and like you need quite a lot of money to buy one of the strips. I think it will be at least 100 bucks. There are a lot cheaper alternatives. There are these flat lights. I use one of these for my Dutch stream and they work okay. What I can say is <laughs> the colors that are on the remote are not exactly the same as the colors you're gonna see. The other thing is that if, you, if you're gonna try and put them in the power, you need to actually attach your power cable at the end. I didn't know you had to do that, but luckily my dad knew how to do that, so he did it. It's probably a YouTube video about how to do that, but... So a lot of these come without like the actual power cable. There's a cable on it, but just not, not the one that you put, put into the socket. So that could be happening to you, depending on which flaw that you're getting. Then you have this thing that sometimes if you turn them down a little bit, they're going to flicker in your camera. Eh, not that great. And then the last kind of like downside of these is that sometimes they're super bright so you have to put them behind something and not have them aim directly at the camera because otherwise you get this like like white blur <laughs> so you gotta have to bounce them off a wall first but if you have them they look pretty good if you use them right so if you let them bounce via a wall they look great and they usually come in like couples so you can have like a matching colors like you have like I don't know, red and blue or something like that in the background and your stream looks a lot more playful than it is. Like it doesn't look as boring and it doesn't look as horror. <laughs> like without the background lights, it just looks like I'm having a horror stream. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Wait, I'm gonna like turn this. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove this. It looks like a horror stream if I don't have them on. Yeah, this is just this is not okay. I don't I'm not okay with this. <laughs> Are you guys... You no, know, right? This doesn't look good. Here, let me turn it back on. And then I have this Yoshi egg, which is just like... I just love Mario games. I just love Nintendo games. So I put this Yoshi egg here. They have them on Amazon, but they were sold out the last time I saw. I can leave a link in the description, but I don't know if they're still available. It would be kind of sad if they aren't, but um, I hope they will restock them one day. Because they're cool. They're, they're cool. So I didn't like really explain why lighting is important more than to show you guys why it's important because i think i am just like the show not tell principle is just really good where you guys can definitely see and and think for yourself like oh yeah what she just said about lighting is really necessary that just showed immediately right and this way you learn a lot better just from just experiencing it yourself i think so if you don't have a light yet get something even if it's something super cheap like a, like a clamp light with a piece of parchment paper it's all right but um just get something to light up your face a little bit better so people can see your expressions because twitch is all about interaction and if people can't see if you're excited or mad I'm pretty bad at acting. Then, you know, what? what's the point of streaming? Another thing that you can do with streaming than just interacting with chat is do something good for the world, like a charity stream. I love doing charity streams and it just hypes up the community like crazy. Therefore, I want to send you guys to this video where I explain how I go about charity streams. I'll see you there.